So let's move on from your contact information. Here we go. The first section we're going to work on and talk about is really the objective statement. This is a chore in itself. The objective statement is your one sentence chance at appealing your purpose for this applicant for this resume. It is your thesis statement, it is your purpose statement for this document. It will therefore change per job or position you're applying. Um, not only that, it will include details that will have to change per position. So this is typically where you place your overall intention with this resume. I so said it's your, like your thesis statement. And also you need to be clear as to what goal, um, what your goal is with this job, what company, the company's name, what job title you want, and how you're going to benefit the company. You have to understand that it's not just about you. Yes, they want to pick up this document and find out uh, what you're going to contribute, what position you want, and why you want it. But more importantly, how are you going to help their company? Are you going to um, enhance their uh, camaraderie and their sales, overall sales? Are you going to be an asset to their already um, excellent uh, services and so on. So you need to be selfless. You need to talk about your job title you want so they can pick it up and find out which job you're applying because there may be many positions open. In addition, you want to kind of um, front load information about yourself as well. We will be working on this later on. Next.